Hello everybody, this is Tolki for a new Shadowruns video for my YouTube channel. Today we'll be playing in the second birthday cup, the take two Grim Prix mode that everybody is talking about and everybody's loving. So we are also gonna have our hand at it. Let's put some music. And let's go there. I'm already in group A, I got pretty lucky yesterday with the gold like vampire bloodcraft deck, but <laughs> but I still have to, to make a 5-0 and those are not the classes I was looking for. I really want to be playing Dragon. I still haven't had Dragon once in 5 runs and let's be honest, it's broken as hell. I kind of like Forestcraft, but you know what? I have more fun playing with Bloodcraft and I also feel like uh, Bloodcraft is a little bit stronger because it has more uh, board affecting plays and more chip removal which is really what I'm looking for when I play in uh, take 2 so let's go for it okay Temptress and Fire is very good, deal 5, heal 5 it usually can take off other um, big drops from your opponent and it can also just finish them off if they're at uh, not so healthy life total so I really like her the Venom's Cobra though is just it's just a dodge and it doesn't do anything. Whereas on the other side, Terror Demon is okay, it's castable, you know. It has drain and it can pull you back in hard games, especially if you're going second and you're you missed your two second and third drop. It can be an okay card to play. It's not what you want, but it can be okay. And Silver Chain Disciple is also a good card when you have vengeance that's the problem if you don't have vengeance it doesn't do anything really it's a 2 2 4 2 and this is not really what you want to be filling your deck with so even though it's a it's a pretty decent card you know technically i feel like i'm gonna take the right um the right thing because temperance vampire is really really strong and i want her in my deck Venus Cobra is really bad though, <laughs> but hey, you can't have everything you want. That's not how life works. Okay. Okay, okay. Pick two. What does this do? It's a 3 2 4 2 which hits you. And then she can either be a 3 5 ward that heals you for two, or a 4 4 that pumps your team, which is actually pretty decent, like a fat leafman. Fumilus Demon is pretty aggressive when you're ahead. It can close games out by pinging both players for one. And if you're behind, it really helps. It can help kill the board, you know, so I kind of like it. And Blood Pact is also the kind of card I do want to be playing into my, I would say, in my um, take two decks. It helps you go closer to Vengeance and draw two cards. I feel like it's very valuable in take two. So we're going with the left here. Sliding Chains is really great. It's one of the best cards. Um, just in take like removal, chip removal is, is really what you want to be having in your deck. But I really don't have Embling Wraith in my deck. Whereas Glassburn Demon is just a decent, a decent card with enhance. And even though Udius is not even is not nowhere close to his power level in Constructed, it can still be a decent two drop, I guess. I, I wish I had a better option though. Like I'm kind of disappointed with what I'm offered here. But yeah, uh, Embling Race is really something you don't want to be putting in your deck. Hmm, this is interesting though. So the Matriarch clears the board and it can close out games with uh, the ping ability. If you're ahead, it really shuts uh, the door closed. And there is Juice with him like uh, the best friend of everybody who just goes here for the storm, the ward bane, everything. But on the other hand, we have Removal and Vanya, which are also pretty good. But Vanya needs vengeance, and it can be pretty hard sometimes to get to vengeance in take two. So I'll take the more reliable um, drops, the one who don't need vengeance. Mm, I've never understood why this was a legendary, but hey. It could be a silver, to be honest. Soul Dominator, though, is a very good finisher. And I like it more than this pack. 
I like creatures in general. Ooh, Fenrir is great. But even though Fenrir is great, is it better than Kaiser plus Angel? Which are both really good because All Blood King is pretty much a blank. Um I'm gonna go with the left notes. Cheapest cards, cheap interaction is really what you wanna be having in take two. Okay, this isn't playable, so I'm likely not picking this part. Just because I don't wanna put blood things in my deck. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it! Ooh, well, there's Emeralda, so I feel like it's an easy pick. Emeralda is just one of the best cards in two pick because you get rid of an enemy creature. And Bloody Mary, despite being a legendary, doesn't really have a legendary power level in take two. You need, you need more help than that. What is this? Okay. Sounds pretty okay. Rattle Raider is good, but I can like this. Mm. Mm. That's the rough choice. And you have an old bold king, and Queen Vampire goes really well with him, being able to play for his bat just after the old blood king. But is it really what I'm shooting for? My problem. Uh, Lucifer can buy you back when you're behind. I feel like the right pack. Wait, we're 18 in. We already have five two drops. They're not good, but we already have a pretty decent curve, so I feel like I can take a bit more top end. So let's go for that. I mean, this has to be the easiest right pick I've ever seen in my life. Nightlord is really, really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this sounds so bad, and this is good, but I really like Night Horde. It adds to the board while removing an opposing threat. So, I just want to be picking that all day, every day. And Raven is not great, but I might have a small Forest Bat sub team with that, so. We'll take other All Blood Kings we see. Oh, this is not my last pick. I really like Carabas in take two. With the goal of playing her on turn 10 with a 4 drop, because then you, go, you draw two cards a turn for the rest of the game while pinging them. But Iceblade Warfen is one of the best cards in Take 2 because it gives you cards while being able to clear the board. And Mails from Serpent, at worst, you know, it's 10 10 worth of stats for 8 mana, so it's really good on curve. So I think I'm gonna go for the left. It's mainly because I don't really love Righteous Devil. Might be a bit too top heavy, actually. Ooh, I was gonna go easy left because those are two great cards, but. Big Knuckle Bodyguard is also great, and Vampire Board... Yeah, the problem is Vampire Bard is... <coughs> and not that good, even though he goes well with my small... With my very small uh, sub theme on f Forest Bats. I feel like Scarlet Sabre is just better, because it's one of the best since it has been in live game and can be used to clear small creatures. Just thinking a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the left. And Fina is also pretty good. Mm, okay, easy left. We, we have a good uh, Raven deck. <laughs> let's just say that. We're on theme with Forest Bats and Raven. Okay, so let's see our deck. We have a Crapton of Ravens on two. Some random stuff. One All Blood King. In the end, I would have liked to have more, you know, with Night Horde, Raven, and Queen Vampire. I kind of like it in our deck. It's still 1 4 for 5, though. It, it cannot be that good. And then we have a decent top end. I mean, sounds okay. My biggest regret is that we didn't get any Belphegor or Wolves or any way to put ourselves in Vengeance easily. 
and I feel like we might be a little bit outpowered in the late game. We have no Bahamut, we have no Olivia, and if the game goes too long, I feel like we're gonna lose. But we have a very good turn 6 to 8, I think. So let's count on that. Mm, can truly be missing our 2 drop. We're gonna keep Angel because it's really a great 3 drop. And yeah, can truly be missing our <clears throat> 2 drops, not Zeus. 2 mana, 2 mana, man. I said two mana. Two. That's seven, for Christ's sake. Mm, that's annoying. I have no words. We have like eight two mana creatures. And I'm looking at everything outside of my Angel of the Word. No! I think we're gonna go for Blood Drinker's Curse brand here. I don't, I don't wanna fight with it and. Screw you, just screw you. I just don't wanna fight with it and give him a forest bat for free. Let's go with that. <laughs> we, traded it. we traded it 3 mana for 3 mana. It sounds like an okay trade. <laughs> So, to do that efficiently, deal to damage the enemy leader and a random enemy follower if the leader's defense is higher than yours. Other than it's the same, that's the problem. But if he attacks with uh, Scorpius, it won't be the same anymore, so this sounds pretty good. So let's go with Raven here. Um, evolve, fight Vampy, and we'll be good. We'll be Gucci. Ah, fuck. Uh, snap! I think I should have evolved the first bat. Actually, no, 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 it was the right evolve because I have a card that matter if forest bats are on the board. So I should be sacrificing my Raven a bit more often. I said Raven, but she's called Vanya in the Japanese version, while she is called Bumpy. Now that's a bit of a problem. Is he evolving here? Is he fighting my 1-1 and evolving? Mm. The problem is, if I play Elinyes here and I evolve it... Oh no, I, I can evolve fight here because it's uh, it gets 7 toughness, right? Yeah. And then kill the 1-1 one -one of the well, so pretty good turn for me here. Wait, no! It's if my opponent is higher than me, why? Let's just say it's a bit early, I didn't completely wake up yet. And I'm doing terrible decisions, and I'm getting punished hard. Because I deserve it, and I'm bad, and I don't know what I'm doing. Like, Angel of the World would have been perfect last turn. What the hell am I thinking? I just wanted to be too cute for my own good. Let's go for a whiteboard so if you saw so feel blight to evolve and then we can get the remnants with ice blade warfend and get more cards. That was good. That, that was uh, bad though. Let me change the microphone's orientation a little bit. Sorry if there was a bad sound. And our friend German Gun is coming, so no Warfin for me this turn, but a pretty easy Matriarch. Mm. Oh, I'm good. He's at 11, so... Since he's at 11, he's still not in Vengeance. Here, if he has... Ooh. That's pretty good. Ooh! Perfect, perfect, perfect vengeance that is gonna get destroyed by a spawn of the abyss. Hello, friend! I love him. Abyssachan. 
No! What the fun in all this? Mm -hmm. Do I have a way to actually clear the two one? No. Oh, wait, does this change anything? No, it doesn't. I'm only at 12, which is a little bit scary. I think I'm gonna draw that first and see what I get. If I get snarling change, I win. Yeah, not, not that. I'll just keep my 6-7 around. Because next turn, if I can get rid of that, he's dead, so... Let's just hope he doesn't kill me here, because... He definitely could with stupid stuff like double dark general. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He's keeping his ward, you know, just in case. What does this do? Whenever another follower revolves... Well, if it's whenever another follower revolves, we don't care, so we'll just be doing that, and... FACE! This Queen Vampire was actually pretty annoying. She was quite a bit better than I than I thought because double ward can be annoying after the revolution turns. But still, you know, Spawn of the Abyss is a ridiculous card and it closes games out really fast. Okay, I'm gonna mill again all that. I'm keeping a raven just to have uh, two creatures on the board on turn two and start going to the face to go full smoke on that guy. Okay. The only thing they could do to make the Take Two Grand Prix even more pimp is to allow you to choose between any uh, sleeve ever printed with every single Grandmaster sleeve since the beginning available. So you can have like the small storms from Star Wars Legends, anything. Okay. I I can uh, I'm kind of lacking three drops in my deck. My th my three mana turns are always awkward. Hey, he's got the bronze version of my card. I'm just gonna go face. With my storm cards here, I I kind of want to put them around ten so I can finish with Spoon of the Abyss and other stuff like that. This is really annoying, though. So, I need my opponent's life point to be higher than mine if I want to be using that to the best of its ability. Then Tor Demon Hero doesn't do much because he can just kill me. Kill it. Yeah, let's just be patient. No reason to be rushing here.
if he evolved the one one, I will have. I will be very happy. Actually, I will be very happy actually because I would be able to use Erinus. He doesn't. Oh. So that's how you're gonna play it, my dude. With I, uh, I can just ping both of both of us, but doesn't sound great. I kind of want to pass again here, actually. This might sound crazy, but none of the plays I have really satisfy me. You know what? No, I'm gonna play Raven. Double one one is enough for me. In the face of this 1-1, one, one. but I'm not gonna evolve yet, because I don't feel the need to. Patience is the virtue. This has not been the most eventful game of my life. What's our opponent's rank? The master. Master of disaster. This is a weird game. This has just scared me to come into the board and then we're just looking at each other. Seeing who's gonna... Stop first. Ooh. Mm, that's not what I expected. <laughs> I really want to be behind in life. Just let me let, let me hit myself. I, I have to kill the 4-2 four, the four here. The question is, what do I use to kill the 4-2? Yeah, I'll just go for him. Okay, okay. Okay. We're in. We win for some action, guys. The game has kicked off. No, we'll be throwing haymakers at each other. I'm seriously considering Salt Dominator face with him to 13. Then I have 13 with that involved, so. Here, if I go really aggressively, I could actually be able. Yeah, I should be able to kill him by turn 9, but that would also mean. Alright, here is too dangerous, I'm at 14, like he's winning the race if I'm going face here. He's definitely winning the race, and I can be getting some good value, so... We'll just be getting the value of killing both his creatures here, while adding to the board. And we'll keep spawn of the Abyss for later. And then next one we can go spawn of the Abyss and Soul Dominator and likely destroy Lesser Kill opponent? What? Okay. What does it do on Evolve though? Two damage to all followers. Okay. I mean now he's the next turn, so. We do have the 15 damage here, so without a ward or life gain, he's toast. He's not toast anymore. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, now he's toast. Dude, respect the Emeralda. No respect for the best girl, Emeralda. I've won so many games off the back of Emeralda because I played a lot of um, Vengeance Blood before the, uh, before the Blood Wolf Restriction and the Embling Wraith nerf. I really love this kind of um, suicide self-damage decks where you're really playing with all resources in the game starting from turn 1. And I killed so many guys with Emeralda, it's crazy. 
Okay, I think... Uh, it's just like, one game out of two, you win it by slamming an Emeralda with Storm and killing people. Okay, this is not the right OST. Why is it there? Why do we have the mighty Switch Force OST inside this? We're gonna mulligan that crap. We had great cards, but we want to uh, curve, not this one. We want a better 2-drop than a crappy 1-3. If that leaves the 1-3 got Bane as soon as you got Vengeance, and if it was a continued effect, it could be decent. But here, since it's fanfar, it's really just bad. We don't have a 2, but we have a great 3. And we have quite the late game. So here you are. We're talking about you. We're talking about you, my dear Venomous Cobra. This is an animated carrot. Where the hell is the animation? Mm, I think we're just gonna go for the horde here because... I mean, I also really want to be playing the carrot, you know, to get more value out of it. Yeah, I don't need to be rushed on the horde. Because playing the, the carrot as early as possible allows us to play it again, play it again, and get the most value from it. I'm kind of disappointed by the animation on the ultimate carrot. I would like something a little bit more flashy. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Nah, it's actually okay because then we can just play the carrot evolve and kill it and play the carrot again. We could also just call it and kill the whole board, which sounds pretty good. Like leaving open with no creature on board definitely is an appealing proposition. With the carrot, I would be left with a carrot, and that's it. Yeah, I keep it for later. So let's just hope he doesn't have a Wood of Rambles here to get our X1 for free. If he has to play Fairy and evolve it, I'm really, I would be really happy. The problem here is if he's able to clear our Cyber without expending any big resources. Okay, it's really at one now. That's for sure. This is broken as hell, though. This card is really broken in uh, in Tech 2. It's like a better fashionista than Elcha, which is already a great card. No, I cannot go Angel Horde. Ah, oh, screw me. I really don't want to be using one of my evolution points here. I just go Night Horde and Carrot, and then I go Angel next turn. Or just fight it with a with the Forest Bat. I'm pretty okay with going a bit lower knife on here. I don't really want to be wasting my evolution trade with a card because my creature would be dying anyways. I want to be keeping the evolution for the next few turns because he will be playing big stuff, that's for sure. Hey, that's my th that's my stuff. Okay, I'll take it because then here I can just do it like that. So he has, let's just say, a crap ton of fairies in his hand, as well as an ultimate carrot, and he does know I have an ultimate carrot. That's where we stand. I really hope he's gonna deal me four, so I can just slam a mouse from a serpent, you know? Please play three spells and a roach, go for my face, put me exactly in vengeance, and let me play my serpents. 
Matrak also looks great against uh, Forest because they do... Yeah, a lot of stuff like that where it's really good to have the Matrak. Ooh. No! I mean, this is gonna get destroyed by Blood Hungry Matrak, but... I'm not in vengeance! I wish I was. This is gonna feel pretty good though. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not coming, but I'm pretty damn close. That the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it, uh huh, uh huh. Concha suru. Concha suru. And now we kind of have the nut slate. Yeah. Can't I put myself in vengeance in any way here? It doesn't do anything special level, right? So this is four. I mean, it's gonna be four and four. Is there any way to kill it without an evolve? I really don't think so. So yeah. It's beefy for sure. And we're still pretty far ahead, even if he has the best Forest Craft cards to come back in the game, like Aserpia or those neutrals like Olivia. I feel like we're still in a decent spot. He cannot be spamming Jungle Warden yet, because we had the chance to be going first. So I really like our chances here. I feel like this will be able to close out the game really easily next turn. Even with that, he's taking 8, and that's enough because we do have Julius. So, we're done. I did say he could be counting on Olivia here, and he was. She's named Olivia, right here. Yeah. It's Olive in the Olivier, in the Japanese version, which is, by the way, a guy's name. So, don't, don't trust the boobs, it's likely a dude. That was a pretty good game. I I enjoyed the decisions in the mid game. But yeah, the match work turn was really just filthy with value. He didn't really play again around it well. But at the same time it's hard to see coming. Okay, so some Havencraft, some Bishop. I don't truly really know what I have to be playing around against Bishop. I know they have Priest of the Cutgill, which is MVP usually. Mm, do I keep it? Yeah, I'll keep it on the draw in case he plays a really strong 3-drop. Yeah, if I get Kaiser, I'll be playing Kaiser. The most important stuff I have to be playing around is Temis' Decree, I think, because everybody picks it when they see it. And they're gonna be counting on it to come back if they're behind. Okay. <laughs> this is a really good turn too. Maybe Bishop is better than I think. It has lots of good bronze cards. Yeah, like that. It has really a lot of very good bronze cards, so... Maybe I should give it more respect. My hand is not bad, though. Far from there. There's gonna be... Oh god. Oh god, no! Oh god, no. This is just so annoying here. Even if I go Carrot of Carrot, I'm not doing shit. Even if I go Bats, 
Yeah, I'll just have to go for this because... It's just too annoying here. I cannot commit to two, a two defense, not toughness, a two defense creature, so... I'll be taking my four like a man, or like a boss. This is really freaking aggressive, dude. It's, disrespe it's disrespectful. And you're right to be disrespectful because... <laughs> this is gonna screw me. One and four doesn't do it. Two and three doesn't do it. Screw me. <laughs> I'm gonna take ten on that crap. Why? I mean, he's gonna put me in vengeance, with, which is gonna be really good for Emeralda, so... I feel like I just have to set myself up for the best possible... Even, no, there's really no, no way I can kill it. I'm just gonna set myself up for Nemoralda and stuff like that, so... This Angel is gonna go phase because I don't see how I could do an odd, an odd number of damage to him. And I'm putting the carrots. And I'll actually be evolving the carrot because this means he cannot banish it with uh, Papa Banish even if he has it. And actually, do I fight here? Yeah, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to because this opens a lot more options for me next turn by making sure we fight. It's not like it's my 4 4 is gonna survive. And if he evolves something to take off a 2 2, I'll live with it. This is last word, and if I destroy it, there's the last word coming, so I'm not gonna do it. Does it go face here? Yes, I'm in vengeance. That's the good news. Ooh! Case. This is. Do I want life gain or do I want to do damage? I kinda wanna stay in vengeance here for Emeralda. This is... I wish I could play Bloodhunter Matrock right there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the damage here. The only damage in... Emilia. I'm, I wanna stay in Vengeance. Emerald is just so good in Vengeance. And just pass here. Even if he has Temis' Decree, he loses both his Tigers, so... Sounds good! Then we have Emeralda to handle anything, and... If we're able to handle the board without playing anything, I feel like Spoon would be the best play, so we're gonna see what's ha what happens here. No, 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 no! That's just unfair! My god. My god, this was brutal. This doesn't do, <clears throat> uh, doesn't do anything here, so we're just gonna do that. Kill the other 4-4. Uh, this was brutal. This was really brutal. No, I'll be going for... I'd like to be going for some light gain with Lucifer, but if I play him, I will likely have to evolve. No! Not Papa Banish! Let Papa banish! Two fingers up your <coughs> throat to make sure you puke. What? What? What did that not evolve? What's happening? What is this massive disrespect I'm being victim of? No, what? What? I did not do that. I did not. I was just looking at something and I clicked because I wanted to click outside and go play the Blood Hunter, Blood Hungry Mod Shark and evolve it. Of course, you know, the thing that makes sense. And then I misclicked everything and now I'm screwed. So, what's my best course of action after misplaying horribly? And yeah, no, there's just nothing to, to say 
to redeem myself, so I was just so goddamn bad. Oh, shit. I'll be getting white, so I have a better chance to use the match rock next turn. And where's my evolve? I'll just be clearing it. Like, let's be enough. Let's be honest. I need to. You can just go Papa Banish on the card. No, this is so bad. I. I'm so tilted by this misclick. I just did that, and while moving, I click. I'm gonna remove all that because I, I, I can't. What is it? Display card information. I just do that. And then there's another thing. I remove that as well. I just I just deserve to die in endless suffering for what I did. But he didn't even banish my carrot. Like where is her He's just going so far in the disrespect. I just I just don't know. I just deserve to die. Mm, I have to fight this here, this here. This is the only way that I'm not technically dead. I'm pretty close to being, but I'm not technically dead. I just want to be changing this again, please. Please let me change my options. Why can't I? Why can't I change my options? Okay. Play card, right click. Able for right click. Oh yeah, I cannot do that, so... I do that. Okay. Mm. This is gonna be some heal with this plus Lucifer. I mean, I might be coming back in the game. I don't know. You know what, I'm not gonna remove actually all of this. I'm too used to have all the information. But still. But still. I'm dead, I'm dead. Just kill me please. Just kill me, please. Oh god, I would, I would really have won that game easily. I think, from what we've seen from the rest of the game and the plays, the pretty questionable plays my opponent did, I think I would have won really easily without that misclick. Me, yeah, going face was also way too. No, King the Chan was way too greedy. Should have won for a Pepe Banish. I. You know what, I don't even know anymore, I just feel like without this misclick I had a way to clear almost his whole board thanks to the Matriarch and um, the Emerald that's staying on the board and I was in a good position and here I'm not I'm not that big on Raven so I'll just be playing my Julius turn 2 and hope to draw 3 drops thanks to that I promise, the level is gonna get higher but I'm still not entirely used to playing while speaking. I used to stream a lot of League of Legends, and in League of Legends I got used to it, but... In Shadowverse, you know, I'm still a pretty new player in the end, it's only been six months since I started playing the game. And I need to get used to streaming or doing VODs like this by just talking more and explaining my thought process without the, without it making me play worse because that's the problem at the moment you know, playing like crap playing like crap okay face is the place mm. 
Whoa. That's annoying. I'm gonna lose my board and he, he will have three creatures. And I have a terrible hand to come back from there. Hmm. Yeah. Bad that. If I play it, I'm taking infinite damage. I have to go for that. Hmm. Not a one drop. Please, no one drop here with Mars. Okay, empty Mars evolve, which sounds really bad, except again the hand I have where it's entirely destroying me. But thank God, I'm I'm lucky. I'm better lucky than good, and I get to kill the Mars with him with two. Pretty anemic one ones. And if. Yeah, I like if you could put me in vengeance. <laughs> I really want to be slamming my serpent on turn 8. Who doesn't, who doesn't like slamming their serpent? What? Holy cow! <laughs> A legendary and a gold rare. Have some mercy for for us plebs here. Ooh. I actually prefer the fourteen hunters and the queen vampire here, because then I can play the two two and I get another two drop, and I get more value from my evolve than I would with the vampire because, you know, I, I want to kill the moss. I wanted another two drop. But hey, we'll live with it. <coughs> so, he has to evolve, I have none. Which is not a very good sign. But he will likely have to use one here to handle my Fina. Nap. Nap! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? He puts me exactly in vengeance? Why would you do that, dude? Why? Uh, why? Play that and Raven and the nice Raven to get me more life. Even though I want to play the Maelstrom Serpent on the next turn, I have to have some life gain. Go, go. No! Wrong one. <sighs> Queen Vampire would have given me wards, but he would. Have, I feel like he had a one one, so he would clear one of the wards anyway. And the other one could have been clear with an evolve, so it doesn't change much in terms of damage output. Whereas here, I I was getting one thanks to this, and might be able to play Vampire and Cobra next turn. I have options still, you know. I, I'm kind of done though. Kind of done though. <clears throat> that sounds like an option, you know, not one I want to be taking, but it's an option, it exists. Oh, with this I'm gonna gain two. Let's not forget that. I'm definitely not playing Maelstrom Serpent. I, am I actually? If my opponent has any storm, I'm dead if I play Malsum Serpent. If he doesn't, I likely win because I would have five. I would have five. Five five on the board. I only need three to kill him. How much storm is there in Sword though? Like, there is some. There is Juliet, there is Albert. Of course, there could be Celia. There's even a few bronzes, but they're not great in take two. So, am I going for the the scared play? Yeah, I mean, okay, I have Temptress Empire in hand. This should be the, the... This is what will push me to play, to do the boring and safer play. <laughs> Playing the Maelstrom Serpent is high risk and very high reward because I win if things go my way. But I have Temptress Empire in hand and I likely don't need to be taking that many that much risk because... 
I have a way to go back into the game here. And this is harder for him here to clear this, even though he will get storms every turn. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm not taking six to the face, which is very good news. If I can clear his board, yeah, I'm just going clearing his board into serpent for sure. It sounds like a pretty good play. 25-25 <laughs> point toughness on the board. Let's go! Pop, pop, pop. And then here he plays all birds. But no, he doesn't have an Evo anymore. I'm good, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I think he's dead. I did it? Did I do it? I missed the 5 oh, due to a really stupid misclick though. Feels bad man. Feels bad man. Okay. Go for it my friend, you're still taking 20. You're still taking 20. You're actually taking 25, you know. Contrasted. We, we have to kill him with- Oh! <laughs> no! My Zeus, dude! Let me slime my Zeus! He passed the turn. He made me think I could be able to slime my... My big fat uh, Zeus on the board, but now... You know, he had to cut block me. But I'm so happy with a 4 1. We're getting a Wonderland Dreams card pack and we're gonna open a Snow White. Let's go. I'm answering that because I already opened 5 Snow Whites, I think. And I just I just don't open anything else from this set. But I have infinite Snow Whites. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. 1. No. Oh, animated. Okay, that's my fourth one. I, I like opening like million, million, and millions versions of the same card. I, I have to branch out a little bit more in my investments. So, thank you guys for watching the video. I show my face like five seconds because I look like shit. But, thank you very much for looking at the video today. I didn't even turn on the lights or anything. I'll be back tomorrow for another shout out video, a uh, theory Thursday. If you like, don't forget to like, subscribe, share to your friends, your family, your lovers, your hated ones, Twitter, Tumblr, MySpace, everywhere. Thank you and see you guys tomorrow.